All right, so today I wanna to talk about Whisper. This is a model from OpenAI. You can install it with a pip install and then OpenAI-Whisper. Comes with a couple of things you can use. First off, there's a command. So once I install this here, I can use the Whisper command. And then this is also a Python library. So first off, I wanna talk about the command. Basically, this is a tool that allows you to take audio and transcribe it into text. So we're talking about speech to text. It is absolutely stellar in terms of accuracy, and it's incredibly useful, especially with a feature called word timestamps, to be able to tie metadata about what you're saying to any part of a video. All right, so first up, I've got a little 30 second clip in here that I can use, and I can pass an argument here for transcribe. The other option is it actually can do translations as well. I'm just going to use the transcription today though. So when I run this now, take a little bit of time, and the first time you run it, it has to download a model to be able to recognize the speech and then translate it to text. So be prepared for that to take a few seconds. And then once it's done that, it actually performs a transcription and you can see the output here of the text that it's recognized. So you have ranges here from zero to five seconds and then five seconds to seven seconds, et cetera. And then on the right here, you can see the text that it's recognized. And it does a really good job. For example, Copilot is something that I'd expect general purpose transcription to possibly mess up because it's kind of a modern term. And yet in this case, it's picking it up just fine. And I find that to be the case with a lot of technical terms. Whisper actually does a pretty good job of recognizing the term and not having a problem with it, unlike other models I've used in the past. And then in addition to the output here, if I list out the files, you can see there's five different files that are exported and that's by default. You can control which ones are actually exported. The first one is a JSON file. If I dump out the contents of this, Actually, I'll pass that to JQ. As I scroll through here, each chunk of text is recognized, and then you have the starting and the ending point. Also have tokens if you're interested in that. And then here's the next section and so on. So you could parse this JSON and do whatever you'd like with it. Or if you're working with some sort of closed captioning, you might want to use one of the other files like the SRT file it creates. Dump that out. And there you go. You can see a different format for the same information. And so there are five of those files. Got a text file, tab separated value, a VTT, which I have no idea what that is, the SRT, and then the JSON format. So that command is one way to use this. The other way, if I hop over to VS Code, I've got a Python notebook here set up with a simple example of transcribing. I'm gonna pass a different video in this case, so that will get passed to my transcribe function. I'll load the base model. You can specify other models if you like, like the small, medium, and large. Base tends to be perfectly fine in my experience. And then just call transcribe here, that's it. It'll do the rest for you, pass the file. In this case, I'm asking for word timestamps. So that's more granular than just recognizing a line of text. So if I run this, again, that's a 30 second clip. Doesn't take too long to process though. This will take about five to eight seconds. All right, that's done now. I then process it here and just display the information. So you can see what it recognized here. That looks like what we had before. If, however, I come down below here, I use pprint to dump out the entire text response that came out of transcribe. So that's from up above here. Now when I run this, dump out the whole response. And if I choose to make this a scrollable element, I can see all the output. And as I scroll through here, come up to the top actually, we have our first line of transcribed text. And then down below that, you now have words. And for each word inside of that line, you can see here's the word, which is so, that's the first word. You can see it's start and it's ending point, and you've got probabilities. And of course, the next word is one then. Here's where it starts, here's where it ends, etc. And as I've mentioned, this is incredibly accurate. It is not spot on, but it's so good that you can actually do a lot of really neat things with this. So if you ever need some sort of transcription, you don't have to pay for it. You can run it all locally. It's incredibly fast, and it's 100% free.